So we're here in the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City in front of Broken Eggs by Jean-Baptiste Greuze. It was painted in Italy in 1756, which was considered the neoclassical period. In this piece, Greuze has created a triangular composition with two upright figures, the fallen girl and the little boy in the corner. This rational composition is yet another nod of the neoclassical style in which reason is embraced in painting. There are no more frivolous compositions, but rather strong verticals that render the subjects timeless, unlike the playful diagonals of the Rococo and Baroque. There is nothing playful about the painting as the colors are dull. The only pop of color is a lover's red shirt. The dust browns and poor lighting reminds the viewer of the hard life the common people lived during this period. This painting portrays a poor family and a young bourgeois man. The young servant girl kneels on the ground, looking pitiful at the fallen eggs on the floor, while the old maid points displeased at the eggs. This old woman, possibly the young woman's mother, seems to be upset, as we look at her facial expression and how she is firmly pointing to the mess on the floor. It is believed that these broken eggs represent the loss of virginity or innocence. The man looks as if he is of the bourgeois class because of his extravagant clothing. The little boy in the corner tries to fix the broken eggs, showing his innocence and lack of understanding of the current situation. He also is leaning against a bow and arrow, which is meant to show the dangers of messing with Cupid and love. This painting illustrates the curse of being of the lower class, as evident by the dismal lighting and faces of, on the subject. The mother is properly keeping the man from leaving, showing that one must take responsibility for their actions. Broken eggs can be connected to the character Fontaine from Les Miserables. Both Fontaine and the woman in the painting were young girls who were defined by their premarital promiscuity. This painting was created for the bourgeois class to teach the population about the importance of moral values and taking responsibility for one's actions. This teaches the bourgeois that they must live with reason rather than acting on emotions. Now this man must sacrifice himself in order to aid the young woman who has lost her innocence. Mm -hmm.